around. And, and Michael, I understand he was actually one of your idols, that you grew up near him, and he was somebody you emulated, and he actually would take care of the kids in the neighborhood, and there was a disabled kid in the neighborhood. Tell me about all that. Well, uh, the day was, this disabled person was uh, an older gentleman that lived next door to him, and um, he was uh, around 35 years old when Bobby was 19, and Bobby would come home from, from college at Mount St. Joseph, which is 20 minutes away. He'd come home nightly to take care of him. And um, they were talking about the marital problems and whatnot. I, I didn't see that either because I had spoken to him not, not very long before the incident through a wall post on Facebook. And he was excited about his son's third birthday. And somebody like that's not going to go out on a shooting rampage and kill children because children were something that Bobby, Bobby saw as something precious and, and mm -hmm. you wanted to, to, to protect as much as possible. My understanding is that you guys can't even believe it's, it was him that did this, given how different someone would have to be from the guy you knew. Correct. Exactly. When Michael showed me the video um, on MSN, MSNBC.com, he showed me the video, and I said, so? And he said, Michelle, Robert Bales. And I said, ooh, that's so freaky. Somebody did something like this that's got Bobby's real name. And then he said, wow. look, and we watched the video six times for me to see that it was not Bobby. I looked for anything that would show me that that was not Bobby. Mm. And in the three pictures, I saw Bobby, and I completely fell apart for a little while. Yeah, it's just, it did, the making sense of this is really just, I mean, I'm so sympathetic to him. And, well, let's keep this conversation going. I, we have a comment from Sergeant Bale's wife, Carolyn, today. She says, quote, our family has little information beyond what we read and see in the media. Again, she's trying to make sense of this. What has been reported is completely out of character, the man I know and admire. I, too, want to know what happened. I know the media has a right to pursue and report news. As you do your jobs, I plead with you to respect the trauma that I and my extended family are experiencing. Please allow us some peace and time as we try to make sense of something that makes no sense at all. And, Michael, I believe that's what you're saying, too. This is a guy that was... What is it? If I remember right, he was a linebacker and then becomes captain of the football team. He was decorated as a soldier, somebody that everyone looked up to, right? Exactly. Um, he was, um, he went from, when uh, Mark Edwards became a, uh, a junior, Bobby went from being a linebacker to a nose tackle so, because he wanted to, to do as much as he could for the team. And it was because um, the coach just felt that, that Mark Edwards was faster. And uh, Bobby would sit there and, and take Mark Edwards under his wing and uh, gave, give him as much information and help being the best linebacker that he could be. And you, you can see what happened with Mark Edwards. He became, you know, a, a professional football player for the San Francisco 49ers and then the New England Patriots and Chicago.